This video will demonstrate how to replace the LCD and backlight display board in Cardinal Scales Model 825 Spectrum Indicator. Begin by removing the power supply, ribbon cables, and all other connections, and stow the cords out of the way. Remove one Phillips head screw and washer from the scale input board. The board pulls straight up and away from the black socket on the main communication board. Loosen and remove the four hex nuts in the corners of the board pack assembly with a 5 16 inch nut driver. Gently pull straight up on the assembly to gain easier access to the washers in order to remove them. Remove all four washers and pull straight up to completely remove the board pack assembly from the indicator. Set assembly to the side. Remove the four long white spacers from the studs. Gently wiggle and remove the two plug-ins from the backlight display board. Slide the cables out from the clips. Remove the four screws from the LCD display. Pull straight up on the display to unplug the LCD from the operator interface board. Gently wiggle to unplug one cable from the backlight display board, leaving it plugged into the operator interface board. The board is adhered to the assembly using double-sided adhesive tape. Notice the stud that comes up through the corner of the backlight display board. Use a flathead screwdriver to carefully pry up on the edges of the board. Carefully lift straight up to remove the backlight display board from the operator interface board. Place a one and a half inch long strip of half inch wide double-sided adhesive tape on the reverse side of the board. Thread the stud through the hole in the corner of the board, making sure the cables to plug in the display are facing up, down, and away from the LCD. Press firmly to ensure good adhesive contact. Reconnect the operator interface board cable to the backlight display board. Line up the socket on the LCD board with the operator interface board and the four screw slots on the edges of the LCD, and firmly press down to plug in the socket. Replace the four Phillips head screws. Do not over tighten the screws. Only tighten them enough to ensure the display will not move. If they are over tightened, it can damage the metal exterior of the display. Once the screws are in place and the display does not move, loop the cables through the clips and plug them into the backlight display board. The top cable is routed through the clip upward and back down to plug into the backlight display board. If either plug is not going in easily, flip the plug over. The cables only plug in one direction into the sockets. Replace the four long white plastic spacers. Plug the three keypad cables into the side of the operator interface board on the board pack assembly. Put the corners of the board on the studs with white plastic spacers and push all the way down. Put the four washers and nuts on the studs and tighten with a 5 16 inch nut driver. Line up the socket of the scale input board with the main communication board. Push straight down to plug in the socket. Replace one washer and a Phillips head screw. Plug the power cable and all other cables into the main communication board. Plug the load cell cable into the scale input board. This completes the steps for how to replace the LCD and backlight display board in Cardinal Scale's 825 indicator. For additional questions or technical assistance, Please call 1-866-254-8261.